Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, coconuts. Um, what do I usually say? Shout out to my YouTube fam. Shout out for those of you watching the replay. We love you. We see you. We are still wrapping up this piece, y'all. We are still wrapping up this piece. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I am tired. But, we, you know, I said I was going to show up. And I'm here. Okay, I make sacrifices for y'all. We're here. We're here. Tomorrow's launch day of the calendar. So, I got some work to do tonight after we get off of here. So, we're going to keep it cute tonight. We're going to get straight into work. Get started with the pumpkins. And uh, see what, what we got going on next. Not that many elements left to decide on. It's just about execution at this point. So I'm just picking out some of my little, <laughs> you peeps the new profile pic. You know, I thought I would throw it back to 96, 97, okay? Put up baby Coco so y'all can see what I was working with. It's that time of year. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Brooke. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good day as well. So I'm just going to get into these last two pumpkins. And then we're going to see what else is going on. Okay. Hope you guys all had a fabulous day. I know I certainly did. I was just dozing off on the couch. <laughs> watching Christmas Chronicles with my son. And I was like, oh. It's time to go to bed. We can't just sleep on the couch. Get up. It's so crazy being a business owner because this is the time of year where I just want to hibernate, you know, heavy on to get somebody else to do it, as I say. And uh, it's Q4. This is it's showtime. <laughs> this is not the time for sleepy cuddles and, and movie nights. I got stuff to do. So I have to fight against myself. Fight against myself. Oh, no, I'm sorry you had a horrible day today, Chaz. I'm sorry. I do hope that you're right and that this cheers you up. Just sit down, relax, chill out. You changed your profile picture, question mark? Maybe I'm an imposter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Studies would show that my profile picture is, in fact, different. Studies would show that. But you never know. I might be somebody else. Welcome in, welcome in. You got your book today? Yes, I love that. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. All right. Thank you so much for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. We love that. All right. I'm going to go on potato brown see what this color combo is giving. Eating, eating per usual, potato brown never disappoints, not never, okay, shows up, knows exactly where to go, each and every time, it's actually stunning, so I wanted this one to be a little bit deeper, you know, Your printer ran out. Uh oh. I was about to invite somebody to go live. Your printer ran out of ink. You can't get your downloads for the month. Girl, go on over to Staples. Go on over to Walmart. Go to the UPS store. Okay? Get you your downloads. At least download them so you have them on your, your device. Okay? At least do that. <laughs> yeah, get your ink cartridge, yep. Go ahead. Don't let them keep you down. They all do it. Alright. Thank you, I'm enjoying doing the pumpkins. I love coloring pumpkins digitally. Every time I do it, I'm like, 
this is satisfying in a way that I can't quite explain. Um, it's giving that same energy right now. Now, I love that for us. I feel like today's a sleepy day. So I feel like it's going to be a nice, chill, low-key session. And I love that. I do, I do. Um, so I'm going to go over this with my orange Prismacolor color pencil. Alright, the live, yes. We just got in. We're finishing up this piece. Yes, indeed. Alright. Just going over it with the orange colored pencil. And then I'm going to add a little something something on top. Probably ochre so i'm trying to not noisily get my color pencils out of this tin let's move this here um where's the color pencil i'm looking for though oh it was over here that was a it's a i'll scoot you over a little bit welcome welcome in didn't get the notification per usual. I wonder, like, do the notifications only... Do you ever get a notification from me? Like, if I post something? Or is it just the lives specifically? I'm trying to see what TikTok's issue is with me. <laughs> I'm trying to see how deep it goes. Because what did I do? Okay, someone got the notification. <laughs> I fell asleep during the shoot. You don't ever get the notification. No, TikTok got an answer to this. TikTok's got to get to the bottom of this. Because at this one, I'm calling the National Guard. Don't play with me. Alright. Oh, thank you so much, Kay. You think I'm stunning? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I was sitting there, I was like, dang, you gotta choose between doing the green screen or doing a filter. I'm like, dang, I guess I'm going raw face. <laughs> no filter. Okay, fine. I'll, I guess so. I was trying to give me a little lash or something. A little, little help with the lashes. They said, no. Nah. Bald lashes if you want green screen. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll do what I got to do to get the message out. To deliver the good word. So I'm not about to sit here and put a whole face on for this bit this video it's not happening it's not happening um uh, where's my pasca thank you thank you i feel like whenever i do my little reminder post it's really a note to self <laughs> it's really me talking to myself and i'm like let me uh let me share this with y'all too so we can all get this message because I get caught up especially the you are not your business I need that reminder tatted <laughs> tatted across the dome because it doesn't stick it does not stick I need to put that deep into the brain frontal cortex implant because i don't know what happens every year especially around this time but i've been doing a good job usually around this time of year i'm gone you can't find me you won't see me i'm in full isolation mode going through it going 
through it. And um, I'm not doing that this year. So proud, proud of that. Still feeling some of the stress, some of the anxiety. Um, and, you know, to expect not to feel that will be unrealistic. So, I'm, I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it. But I'm definitely doing better than I have in years prior. So, thank goodness. Because I can't. I can't. I can't keep doing this. But I told y'all, I've been trying to focus more on what I am going to do and what I do want. So once it comes to me, I'll do a video of what I will be doing and what I will be bringing into 2024. You know, sometimes you need to understand what you're not going to do to bring clarity to what you are going to do, what you do want to do. So we know what we're not doing. Now I need to get clear on what I am doing. And get it together. Get it all the way together. Um, yeah, turning your hobby into your career can definitely be hard on you. Leah Nicole. That's a cute name. Um, I definitely felt the burden of survival put on my creativity not great <laughs> not the best feeling um and of course i got my whole family up in it family business so if coco michelle goes down we're all going down baby we're all going down swinging so that put a lot of intense pressure on me straight out the gate um and the fact that my me my me my me on was ready to up and leave what he had going on to make my thing turn into something because he saw the potential and he saw that it could really turn into something. I was like, yeah, I can't. <laughs> can't let this go down. Can't let it go down. And thankfully, we're still here, baby. Still here. Brick by brick, baby. Locked in. Me and you. Me and you. Me and you. So, but it's it's a burden. It is a burden. And I always have to remind myself that the lives have helped so much because what happens when I start to isolate, my favorite part of having a brand having a business, having a platform, is y'all, by far. Like, even more than the art. Okay, and that's saying something. Okay, that is saying something. So, when I start isolating, and I'm just in the dungeon doing the art, and I'm not engaging or connecting with y'all, it's a sad place. <laughs> it's a sad place. So me going live and being on here consistently has helped my mental health, has helped my enjoyment of what I do so much. I see it reflected in my work. I see it reflected in my consistency. Um, no, I don't draw landscapes. Just people mostly. Um, and these are Prismacolor colored pencils. But I, I have to like convince myself to show up because that part of me that wants to isolate and I'll be like oh my god I have so much to do I don't have time I, I can't keep doing this blah, blah blah I have to like actively think critically about it like okay is this gonna benefit you or is this going to harm you to start to go into the cocoon as a business owner thank you so much yes I did create these myself as a business owner it gets real tough to decipher when you should be showing up and being there with your community versus being in the in the trenches and me i'm like 
even if I hop on live for a few minutes, just something quick and light. Some days I'm like, okay, I'm only going to be on here for like an hour. And next thing you know, I'm on here for three hours. And I never regret it. So, long story short, y'all the real MVP. <laughs> y'all the real ones. And I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Tis the season. Okay, gotta show our gratitude. I am grateful for y'all. Beyond grateful. Grateful ain't even a word. It's something bigger than that for sure. Oh, thanks, guys. So, once we finish this page, I won't be starting a new page tonight because I gotta prep. For launch day tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I guess you gotta get your head in the game. It gets real serious. Yes, on the Christmas list. Love that. Just spilled water all down my shirt. Trying to take a little quick sip. Got a new mouth. <laughs> Got a hole in my lip. Alright. That was the last pumpkin. I feel like we went by quick with that. Yes, books came today. Love it, love it, love it. No mouth, who's this? <laughs> All right. Pasta. These are Hoo Hoo markers, Prismacolor color pencils, and this is my um Posca mini paint pen in white white all right oops whoopsie daisy um I was been trying to finish the coloring page that I want to do for the Friendsgiving Live that we're doing on Sunday. And it's taking a long time because of course I couldn't just do one girl. I had to do three girls and I wanted to get it done today and it's taking a long time. And There's a bunch of hands in the picture and y'all know hands. Nobody likes drawing hands. Nobody likes drawing hands. So... I wanted to get that done earlier, but it's taking some time. But it's cute. It is cute. All right. Have I ever used paint markers in your coloring books? I use Posco's to highlight, but I haven't done like a whole page of paint markers. Um, I, f I find that my coloring style needs a little more variation and color than I can get with paint markers so I don't use them often for like a full page well hello Courtney welcome in welcome to the coconut community okay so I'm going to put this color down for the vines because the other color died. I'm going to see what happens when I put that same colored pencil on top that we did for the like fern like leaves to see what that's giving. Oh, cute, cute. It pulls it to a, a very similar shade. So that's what we'll do. Gotta press hard. Put your back into it. Alright. Just had to check real quick. Now that the color has like kind of sunk into the page, the shoes are not that bad. I was watching back <laughs> the replay, which is still loading on YouTube, but it should be up at some point 
probably in the middle of the night tonight. I was watching back my reaction to the poll when I saw that the cheetah shoes won. <laughs> I was like, nah, you are so extra, Andrea. You don't even got to do all that. You don't even... I was sounding like Steve Harvey. Like, girl, calm down. That's why your man say you be doing too much now. Just relax. <laughs> just relax. Mm-mm-mm. I was just shocked. I was just shocked. <laughs> so... But now that it's it's sunk in, you know, it, it's it's fine. Yeah, y'all are y'all gonna be picking. There's not much left to pick, but y'all gotta take care of your responsibility. Hi, Casey. I miss you too. I miss you too. I have to see you ASAP. ASAP. <clears throat> like. Next week. <laughs> Preferably next week. Oh, next week is Thanksgiving. How is that possible? Yes, but we have to coordinate something. Have to coordinate. You can come to the house and see the progress we've been making. I'm going to paint the dining room this weekend. It's looking good. It's looking good. The child down. That's my best friend. We've been... How long has it been? Over 20 years. Dang. Did that little quick math. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how it could be over 20 years of friendship when we're 19. <laughs> That's weird. That's suspicious. There are 20 coloring pages in the... I mean, it, it depends on which book you're talking about. But all the information is on the website for which specific book. This book has... 20 coloring pages plus the swatch pages plus three pages of thumbnails so the number of pages varies by book thank you though i saw something that was like hearing a child speak to you like you're an adult when you're really just a 26 year old child and I was like, that's exactly what it feels like. Because I just know when my parents were 32, they were grown, grown, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not what 32 was 20 years ago. That's not me. I'm just a 32-year-old grown child. Stop the madness. Bennett, don't get distracted. Keep packing. Keep packing, okay? You're going to be mad as hell when it's time to go. Keep packing. <clears throat> I don't do custom pages. I did once upon a time a few years back. I just don't have time anymore. I barely have time to do the, the ones for my brand, so... I had to stop offering stuff like that. What's the hardest piece I colored? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I have a answer. There are certain elements that are hard. It's hard when my materials clock out earlier than expected. When my marker decides to dry up. Or my paper starts to do something weird with the colors or it's not laying correctly but I don't think I've had a piece that was like hard all the way through start to finish so I don't know I have some fun giveaways planned for December um I'm excited
excited. Some of the items will include Ohuhu markers, skin tone sets, roommate tumblers, calendars, coloring and traditional. Um, you know, it's going to be Oprah's favorite things, but Coco's favorite things. So I'm excited to start my you get a car, you get a car, you get a car era. Love the give back energy. Did you start with the smaller set of Uhuhu markers? I didn't because the first time I ever used the Uhuhu, they sent it to me. So, I don't have like a real genuine like Uhuhu origin story. <laughs> but all the markers I've gotten since then, I have bought with my own coins. Um, and I've gotten different varieties of sizes. Okay, so I'm going to go in and fill in some of these stems, and then it's going to be time for us to start chatting about the next colors that we're going to use to finish this piece off. How many total markers do I have? I would say probably across all of my brands, maybe like. 300 somewhere around there you know some light something like that all right so here we are just me and you and a blank background <laughs> here comes the question that I have been saving my veto for Okay, 301, Michael still got to bring that Spider-Man. Yeah, if I include his markers with it, we're probably somewhere in the 350 range. Okay. So, you have the background, the sky, if you will. I don't know. What color? Is, is it a wall? Is it a sky? Is it, I don't know. Then you have... What she's sitting on, some sort of wall, it looks like, a fence, a bench, and then the under part. Okay? Sections, sections. So, let's talk about the background in this upper section. I pointed out all of it so that we can be mindful as we work our way down that it all makes sense. So let's talk about this section. All right. Sunset. Why do you keep saying wait, wait? Like a dark gray sunset. Brick. Pale, pale green wallpaper. Pastels. Sunset and brick. <laughs> Flower wall. Oh. My God. get out some paper I'm gonna just start off by saying I'm scared I'm gonna just start off by saying I'm scared <laughs> the chat has me scared all right <laughs> okay let me just gather my thoughts just wait let me just get myself together because y'all done just push my wig back and I only got a wig on. Okay. <clears throat> got my mechanical pencil. I stole this from my man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that look nice. Snipe. All right. 
I'm going to ask the question again because I think maybe maybe we got lost in translation. Let me reframe. We have her. We have the leaves. We have the pumpkins. This is the background for the upper section. She's sitting on something and then a lower section. We want cohesion. We want cohesion. Okay. So, what does the chat want to do for this upper section? What are we what are we picking? Pastels. Okay. Shiplap. Sunset ombre. Sky blue. Um, the combo things like brick wall plus sky, we can't we can't do brick wall plus sky. It's it's one section. Okay. Cream. go ahead and do the poll and I'm gonna say this is why I didn't veto y'all on these shoes <laughs> let's see let's see what happens let's see what happens I'm gonna give y'all the opportunity um to do it so upper background is what we're talking now I'm formulating the poll So, I'm going to do the most popular answers. I already know what's going to win, and I know I'm going to veto it. <laughs> but for the sake of the experiment, I'm going to do it, you know. I'm going to do, do what I said I'm going to do, and I'm going to put the poll. Okay. Why does this always add extra letters? No one told you to put extra W in there. All right. Why? Okay. Two minutes. The poll is up here. Go ahead and vote. Um, I am armed with a veto and I will use it <laughs> I will use it without hesitation okay let's see what's going on in here all right okay this is a closer battle than I was expecting this is a closer battle than I was expecting Um, there's one that I'm hoping will pull through. Pull through, please. Please. Oh, I'm getting scared. I mean, I'm not, though, because I already told y'all what, what I'm strapped with, Okay. <laughs> I need y'all to pull up to the polls. You got 45 seconds left. The winner is incorrect. <laughs> Don't make me use my veto. Pick the right answer. There's only 143 votes in here. There's three hundo of y'all. Hit the poll. Hit the poll. 30 seconds left. Hit the poll. Hit the poll. Hit the poll. Come on. Oh, my God. Y'all came and hit the pole the wrong way. 
jail immediately. Why do y'all want to do a sunset? Why do y'all want to do a sunset? Do you see how much stuff we got going on? Why do y'all want to, gosh darn, sunset? Wrong. Incorrect. Y'all were so close to picking the right answer. Y'all were so close. Look at this. Look at everything we got going on. And everything we got going on. Including the leopard print loafer. You don't want to come in with the sunset. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Visual balance. We need the eyes to have somewhere to rest. There's no peace here. There's only problems. There's no peace. I am going to veto. We all know I'm going to veto. I'm just trying to teach the children. Teach the children. That I need somewhere to rest. I like no rules art. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you like no rules art. I'm sure that works out lovely for some. Even the no rules artists be having rules. It's just, it's just how it goes. So. <laughs> All right. We're going to do something nice and light and balanced and easy breezy. I'm going to pull up the cream we use from the pumpkins and put it in the background on the top for visual balance. Okay? What's down, we bring up. What's up, we bring down. It's playing. It's all telling the same story. Okay? So that's, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... um Blue skies and some trees. There's no trees here. You want me to draw the trees in? All right. Let's go ahead and just give her a nice balanced background. Balance for a restful eye. Let me see, make sure my little paper is in. The right spot. I love how much faith you guys have in me as well with the brick wall shiplap uh, stucco recommendations. I really wouldn't even know where to begin to execute that. Um, maybe when I grow up, I'll be able to color that good. I'm not there yet. Stucco really had me stuck. I was like, I, I, really, I don't even know how to get that effect. I'm not there. Ombre sunset, we show me again. It wasn't, it wasn't a gay what y'all thought it was going to give. Use those uh, photographic minds of yours and envision it. It's not giving. Not giving what you thought. Balance. Wow. Thank you so much for the glass slippers. Thank you. Thank you. Just going in between the braids. Doing a dabbing motion because I did use color pencil on the braids. And the alcohol marker will drag that color pencil 
all up and down these streets if you let her. So you gots to be careful. You gots to be careful. <clears throat> no, I have not used those markers before, so I can't give pros and cons. My apologies. Yes, the markers do bleed through. But I have this in between, and they're single-sided, so there's nothing on this side. I'm getting messed up. few Copics. I like them. I just can't justify $7 for a marker. For each marker. It's like a little... My mind says no. But maybe Santa will bring me some. I don't know. I might ask him. Next time I call to snitch on my son, I'm going to be like, and while I have you on the line... Um, I want to see what they talking about with these Copics. Drop some under the tree for me, would ya? Yeah, Copics, they run about $7, $8 a marker. Crazy. Thank you so much for the nail love. And listen, you get what you pay for. I'm sure the markers last longer. I can't give a true testament to that because I use my Ohuhu way more than I use any other marker so I'll be using the hell out of these so I can't really say too much about if they're lasting longer or if I'm just using these more <laughs> three colors in total yeah I've bought in like a couple of small sets but it's literally like seven markers for seventy dollars that burns my biscuits okay <laughs> it burns my biscuits i can't justify that not for real um there might be some locations of H-E-B that still have the coloring books, but we stopped wholesale orders in July for the remainder of the year because we were moving into our house and we needed to get established and find like a permanent solution to where we're going to set up camp um, in terms of like shipping and producing and all that stuff, so... We have not been fulfilling orders for any of our wholesale partners, um, but we plan to again sometime in 2024. But I couldn't be stressed. I couldn't do it. And it was the best decision I made. Like, it's hard. There are certain things where you get caught up in the check, okay? Those those are life-changing checks. Um, but the stress and the mental burden that comes with it. Oh, y'all can't see not nothing. I'm all over here. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? The mental burden that comes with that. It's crazy. The orders that we do, <laughs> we are literally like up all night, exhausted, sick, tired. Like, it's, I get sick after every single one. We worked with distribution centers and they were messing the orders up because we had a whole fulfillment center that we were contracting with in Texas, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we would send them all the inventory. They would pack, they would kit, they would tag. They would fulfill the orders for us. And then Macy's is hitting us up like, you short-shipped us or you tagged this wrong, blah, blah. 
they looking at us like, hello, get it together. And I'm looking at these people like, um, hello. <laughs> Why am I getting calls from Macy's that they're missing hundreds of units? Oh, I thought this was going on the next PO. Why would you think that? Why would you think that? So, I was like, y'all can just ship us our stuff back. And we'll, we'll, we'll do it from here. So... We used to do the wholesale orders from our apartment, and it wasn't any big deal, but we were only in 20 locations. Then we got the distribution partner during the growth mode. Then we had to fire them, couldn't find another one in time, and we went from doing 20 orders ourselves, I mean 20 locations ourselves, to 308 locations ourselves. And that's something different. That was something different. So, it was very chaotic, um, stressful, not great for the mental health. And honestly, by the end of it, the check wasn't even worth it the way that it was a big check. I'm not going to lie. I paid off a lot of stuff, (laughs) but I felt like I sold my soul. I was so exhausted. I felt like I wasn't showing up as a mommy, as a wife, as a business owner. Like I felt like I, I had to sacrifice too much to make that happen. Um, and I was like, yeah, never again. So until we get ourselves situated with a new distribution partner or we hire a team Um, And have like a warehouse. Something got to give. But I will not ever do that again. Never. So. That was that. But I'm into the licensing agreements. It just has to make sense. It just has to make sense. A lot of licensing, licensing agreements do not make sense. Um, Where they have the artist making literally pennies pennies per sale while the manufacturer and the retailer are making buku bucks the artist is taking home two to five percent not me i'll be in there negotiating like a mug i'm not playing how everybody here eating more than me and the product wouldn't exist if it wasn't for my art. Make that make sense? I think not. I think not. I agree, Nikki. I I like this background color. It still says fall. It's pulling in the bottom to the top. It's giving. Hold on. Y'all gonna be paused for a second. I gotta um, turn my brightness up. I couldn't see. We back. I'm glad I saved my veto. I'm glad. The sunset would have been a little bit overwhelming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now for the little piece she's sitting on, I saw a lot of people saying, wood. Do we want to go ahead and do wood grain here? Are there any objections? Okay, Aaron and Emerald. Hello. Welcome. Some people get God because I be happy. Huh? What? Wood. Wood. I didn't see y'all. I was coloring. All right. It seems to be overwhelmingly wood. So let's do it. Are me and Mr. C watching anything good lately? We just been watching Christmas movies this week. That's been what's on the TV. We did watch. My stepdaughter put some movie on. I don't even know what it's called. It was like an animated movie and it was actually pretty good. Something with the Mitchells. Let me Google it. Mitchells versus the Machines. 
Yeah, that's what it was. The Mitchells versus the Machines. That was cute. That was cute. There were some parts were a little um inappropriate for my my little one. Uh, so I was looking at my stuff. I was like, "No, nah, you knew better." But it was um it was a good movie. It it kept my attention. Um, but I was watching uh Christmas Chronicles curled up on the couch with my son. My stepdaughter, she started track this week, so she be <laughs> knocked out by eight. She come in all, all slow and groggy, like, I'm eating dinner and I'm taking my shower. I'm like, okay. I'll see you later, girl. I'll see you when I see you, girl. Okay, so I'm going to do... This here is going to be my base color that I put the green on top of. I'm going to be doing some painting this weekend. I'm excited for that. We painted our living room, kitchen, hallway area ourselves. And no one else was having fun but me. And my daddy swore I was going to be the one complaining. And I woke up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and I had a great time. I do not like painting the ceiling that had my neck literally twisted for days. <laughs> twisted for days. But everything else, I had a good time when you're, like, doing it nice and slow. Because I was doing all the cuttings. And I was like, going nice and slow, because we wasn't taping. We were not taping. <laughs> I live life dangerously. I live on the edge. Who has time to tape the whole... No, I don't got time. I, if I had to do a million and one touch-ups, then I, that's what I would do. And I don't care if it, it, it doesn't make sense. It's one of those things, just like I'm not spending 99 cents on an app. <laughs> same Same thing. Same thing. Hmm. I'm scared to use this marker. I feel like it's going to bleed. I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. Painting is just a big coloring book. It's... It's not. <laughs> I was going to try and find a... a a connection it does feel very different but because like really and truly I didn't think I was gonna like painting um but I did I did I would love to paint a mural somewhere in my house as soon as I start talking like that my husband's quick with the side eye like <laughs> where you gonna put that don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it. How dope would it be? I should do it in our closet. Because this is where I color. But then y'all wouldn't see it. How would y'all see it? I want, I want the family to see it. I'm going to convince him. Do a mural in the... Um, in the office. Our office is like right when you walk in our front door and there's no doors or anything. It's just like open. You like walk in and it's like like a little tiny foyer. There's the stairs right here. And then there's the office but there's no door and then there's the dining room but there's no door. And then there's the hallway into the kitchen. So it would be like right when you walk in the house bam! You got Coco's house. Act like you know. No one comes through our front door, though. Everyone comes through the garage, you know? That's too dark. House tour on YouTube. I don't like house tours. They scare me. 
I never could get down with the house tour. Maybe when I move out, <laughs> when I put my house up for sale. I just feel like it's like, hi, everyone. Welcome. Let me help you case my joint. <laughs> it's giving, here's how to rob me. Um, and I don't like that. But I'll show you guys little glimpses, you know, here and there. I'll just be scared. People are crazy. I was watching um, Impact ATL. And that's my guilty pleasure. Okay? It's my guilty pleasure. And I need to watch the new episode, actually, now that I say that. And Ari, with that big rock on her hand, I'm like, if you don't take that off take it off you saw how they did Kim take that ring off and stop showing the camera you're scaring me that's why give me the riches guy I'm gonna keep it safe <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real safe okay not on my finger I get so scared. We just see what happens to people all the time. Especially within that community. I'm like, girl, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I hope it's a fake one. I hope it's a fake one. I would not care. I'll be walking around with a ring pop. Like, and y'all know I'm good for it. <laughs> y'all know I can afford this in diamonds if I wanted to. What's it to you? I'm just not making myself a target for anything. It's too scary of a world. <laughs> and I know people want those things. Part of the attraction to those things is to flaunt it, you know. It's all about the art of stunting. I'm not lost on that. But, uh... Even when people are like, oh yeah, I was at the Trader Joe's. There's a Trader Joe's like five minutes from my house. Okay, well they know what city you live in. Now you're telling them there's a Trader Joe's five minutes from your house. They can triangulate... They see that street sign in the background. Okay, now they know your exact location. Please. <laughs> Please, I beg. You don't think people would take the time to do that, and they do. Leak your whole address for no reason. I really got spooked when, in the pandemic, Aaliyah's face, her, like, building security leaked a clip of a video of her with her tripod taking selfies in like the foyer area and people figured out where he worked and were able to figure out where her apartment was and she had to emergency evacuate her lease like what people were calling the front lobby like I know Aaliyah lives there I was like yeah y'all will never get a house tour out of me cause why why What's the point? Even if they never act on it, the fact that they would go that far is scary enough. You got it. Yeah, Leah's face. This was like 2020, 2021 maybe. It was crazy. And then that's when she bought the condo that she lives in now. Because before that she was in a high rise. Okay, we have just this little section down here. This is all we have left. Let me zoom y'all out. What are we thinking? Just this little patch here. Um... I'm going to just say what I would think. 
would be cute. Um, probably like a really dark green is where I would lean so that the orange of the pumpkin pops, the light green vines pop, everything, her jeans pop. That would have been my go-to. Or a brown, but I think the pumpkins wouldn't stand out as much. So. Or we could do wood all the way down. So. So we'll do wood all the way, green, 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 wood with dark moss. And we're, I don't know how to draw dark moss. All right. <laughs> she left. I do appreciate that y'all think I can do things, though. That does feel empowering. <laughs> I just, I also have to be realistic with myself, and I don't want to get this far and mess it up. Putting some old moss. It's not going to look like that. It's going to look like green sideburns growing out of a wood wall. <laughs> That's what you said about the Samson sisters. That was different. Okay. Listen, I know what I hey, don't be using my words against me. Y'all trying to y'all trying to team up. I know what I said. <laughs> Alright, so the three big ones are wood, green, and gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh put that in the in the pole. Bottom background. All right, we have wood, green, and gray. Two minutes starting now. The pole is here. I think there's a good answer, a great answer, and a, and a wrong answer. <laughs> I think there is one wrong answer in here. Ooh, these, this is, this is close. Vote in the polls. Vote in the polls. I didn't expect it to be like so close, like from all three of them. All three of them are getting some votes. That's crazy. Okay, okay. It's battling. It's battling. We got 120 votes in. There's still over 200 people who haven't voted. Get your votes in up here. Here's the poll. Here's the poll. Wood is in the lead at 42%. 42%. <laughs> the wrong answer is what will be chosen because it shows why you are the artist and some are not. <laughs> Click the poll. Click the poll. Okay, what is still in the lead? We got 30 seconds left. 200 people have not voted. Get to the polls. Get to the po what? Why are some of y'all in here not voting? Riddle me that. Be an active participant in your community. Click the poll. Your voice matters. Your voice matters. Because I'm drawing <laughs> their sleep. That is also true. They are sleeping. All right, wood one. Okay, great. Let's do it. Let's do it. The wood is not going to pop as much as the green, but it will still be cute. It will still 
be cute. So let's do it. <laughs> that was fun. Round of applause. I listen to me talk while shopping on Amazon. I'm sitting here shaming y'all. You know, like, hello, I'm trying to live my life. That's fine. That's fine. Don't mean to intrude. Let me do sideways so I can go with the grain. Okay. Let me move this over. Applesauce. <laughs> applause. Round of applause. Yeah, the green would have been cute. This is cute, too. This is cute, too. All right. All right. This is what I was a little worried about is the blending with the pumpkins and the stems. But once we add the green, it should be a little easier to kind of distinguish moss wood with an eight. I'm sure it would if I knew how to do that. It would have just looked like. A green jerry curl. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It wouldn't have gave Moss. <laughs> it would have gave Rick James. Alright. <laughs> I'm just chatting. I feel like the vines... Give us what we need in the, the greenery down here. I'm trying to make sure I go all around there. <clears throat> I have to clear my throat, sorry. Um, so, I liked the idea we were talking about yesterday about doing vision boards in December. So everyone start thinking about what they want to put on their vision board start getting in touch reflecting on what this year was like if you can remember it feels like a blur to me february literally feels like two years ago um i keep thinking back on things i'm like that was a minute ago that was like what 2021 2022 mm -mm, that was april <laughs> that was april babe it feels like a blur Sorry, I just realized I'm like so blurry as always. All right. But next year is going to be, I don't know. I don't think I want to declare any like 2024 is going to be my year. Like, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to put too much pressure. Anytime I start saying stuff like that, and I know we're manifesting, yeah, 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 I get it. But I feel like when I put all that pressure, it's like I'm trying to force something instead of letting things happen. It was like, okay, you say 2024 is going to be my best year yet. Maybe we need to focus on defining what that means. Best year yet. Regarding what? Financially? Spiritually? Mentally? Like, what What are we talking? Best year what? When you just say best year and you leave it all open-ended like that, I feel like that's a setup. And then you're just looking for something good. You're like, okay. Well, I declared it, now what? For me, I really want to focus on scaling my business so that we can release some of the burden from the bottle. 
house. <laughs> the Balo family is tired. We're tired. So I want to expand the business. I want to hire. I want dedicated space, preferably outside of our home. I want physical wellness. I've been very sick this year. It has my between like my back problems, my blood pressure, my exhaustion. Like I have not been taking care of myself. So we're getting that all the way together. Getting that all the way together because that has an impact on how I show up as a mom. And once that starts happening, I can't. I can't. You know. I want to I wanna be able to play all the little reindeer games with my son. So that's main priority. Get that together. And I just, like, I want to have, like, a solid routine. Like, I want to become, like, fiercely habitual where, like, I have such a strong, rooted system of habits and rituals that the things I want just manifest themselves by me going through my day. That's what I want. Like, I'm so disciplined and so regimented that things just happen for me doing what I do every day. That's what I want. Where nothing is like a big exertion of effort all at once. I want like small compound results. One step after the other that build up to something big, beautiful, magical that doesn't require me to have to do these sprints where I'm just exhausting myself to burnout and just not feeling like I'm doing things from a strategic place because I'm like up against these crazy deadlines that I could have done better and like you know sometimes I feel like my ambition puts me in these tight positions that I just don't need to be in <laughs> like you could have just not did it this way that would have been better but I'm also like gots to see it through gots to see it through and the worst part is it always works out <laughs> so reinforcing that bad behavior um, so I want to get out of it. And these are things I'm going to start working on now. I'm not going to wait till January 1st. You know? I don't want to start just like one day wake up and be like, okay. It's the first day of 2024. I'm different now. That's a setup. And truly, it's a scam, okay? It's commercialism. They're just trying to sell you stuff. That's where we got that from. Release it. You don't need to wait for the new year to start. Just start now. It's a trap. Oh, thank you. Run it up. Hi, I emailed you because my order was canceled, but I never received a response. Do you know why? If your order was canceled, you should have got an email response that triggered automatically. It's likely because you did not put the correct address or we reached out for information and didn't hear back. Those are like the two main reasons why your order would be canceled. So if you forgot an apartment number, incomplete address, wrong zip code, um, those are things that will get it, you know, cut. The beige background is a wall, question mark. Sure. All right. Let's get into the wood. Yeah, try again. If we see anything, 
and if your email was incorrect, all of those kinds of things. Um, so if you're not getting our communication, so just triple check all your information before you check out. This is a sign to break out my markers and pencils and do the first page in your comic book. Yes, Monica. Get into it. You heard it, y'all. Get those supplies out and get to work. I know y'all tucked in the bed. <coughs> y'all ain't getting up and doing nothing. <laughs> Sorry, my cough attack started. Every time that heat go on. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Do the coloring book club get first on the new calendar? No, everyone's getting it tomorrow, but you guys do get a, a discount. I didn't have enough time to do early access this time. All right, that, that time I felt better. <laughs> the coughs come in like attacks of three. And then I'm more better. <laughs> You've been looking for it on there. Yeah, I didn't have enough time. I was working on it to the last, last, last possible second. Mm -hmm. Laying down the logs. It's like I say, sometimes I say one word. Like when I say y'all are tucked in the bed, I just felt something in the back of my throat. I was like, no, not right now. Not now. Please. I'm begging you. feel like you should find a place in the pictures you color to put your signature in a small print. I mean, this is my coloring book, so I usually don't sign it, but my art prints I do sign with my signature. In true art, artist fashion, but this is, this is my coloring book, so I don't really, uh, I don't really feel the need to do all that because this stays locked in the vault. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
Just giving the green texture. Super cute. Just going through, adding my green swirls. That's all it is. Some swirls. I'm gonna go back through and add a little definition to the separate little planks, I guess you would call them. Are we getting a new Christmas volume? No. No, no, no. You guys were going to get a new Christmas volume, but then you guys wanted a fall volume. So then the Christmas volume got cut. <clears throat> so, because the volumes take months. So... I wasn't able to do that plus the um <clears throat> the calendars because I do two calendars now. Um, so I did the best I could with what I had. I'll start working on the twenty twenty five calendar tomorrow. <laughs> That's really what I should be doing. Cause it just sneaks up every single year. This was like <clears throat> the fall colorful book. Eb, I feel like you were part of the conversation. I feel like you wanted um the fall colorful book. But that was like back in July, August time. <clears throat> Thank you for the gifts. Yeah, Emron, I know you were definitely a part of it. <laughs> I know you were there for sure. Yes, joining the coloring club tomorrow. Love that. Move you guys over. <clears throat> Ooh, I am struggling. I cannot breathe. Oh my god. some of those lines deepen them up a bit finish these details you guys can look <clears throat> and marvel at your creation because this was all y'all <laughs> this was y'all Oh, 
Ooh. I think it's looking pretty, pretty spiffy right now. I think it's looking pretty spiffy. Just going to go in and in some little details. I'll come back around and do my shading. You know, I got to do my shadows and highlights. But we're, we're at the home stretch. Mr. Coco, I don't know. He's in, I don't know if he's upstairs yet. I haven't heard his little rumblings yeah the shoes didn't didn't come out too bad the shoes didn't come out too bad at all Shoes came and did what they needed to do. Alright. One thing I just heard, Mr. Coco. Now I really gotta stop coughing before he comes in here. Tell me to drink something. Be in here like, why is it spicy? Why? Right. <laughs> this will take care of that right now. We'll be better by dawn. Beauty patootie. <clears throat> All right. Hey, not to be rude, just a serious question. Why does processing take so long? I'm ready to color. <laughs> Demand. There's thousands of you and two of us. This is not Amazon. Not to be rude. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. This is it. Voila. Y'all did y'all big one with this. Do you like the colors? Okay, I always can count on you to come. Okay? You can come with the stunning. Come with the stunning. For a group project. <laughs> y'all did y'all thing. Y'all did y'all thing. We knew it was going to be cute. And I'm still going to do some more. Y'all know. I can't leave it alone. Like Sierra. I can't leave it alone. I'm going to hit up the leaves. I'm going to do some work in the background. My colored pencil on top. Hit it with my white highlights. You know, you know. Um, and give it that, that something something. Okay. But it is 11.45. Tomorrow is launch day. Christmas with Coco launches tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in calendars, if you're interested in greeting cards, if you're interested in stickers, any of that stuff, hit up CocoMichelleIllustrations.com tomorrow. The link will be in my bio, so you can just find your way back here and do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Um, I'm very excited. 
I need to get my rest. I need to finish up my downloads that are going live for the coconuts in the coloring club tomorrow because I want to give you two. And I need to finish up the one so I can give you the two. So that's what I'm going to start working on right now while I curl up with my man, my man, my man. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the, not live, not live. <laughs> Should we go live? Maybe I'll pop in and see what y'all doing. Nothing too serious. We'll do some flip throughs. I'll show you some products and stuff like that. I'll see what y'all are up to. But that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for coming in. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Yes, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.